Camp Explore More. As you can see, it's arts and craft time at camp. And I'm just painting uh, a tree that's just over there by my tent. You know, I really like to paint. It, although, you know, I am no Bob Ross. Now, you may be wondering who Bob Ross is. Well, Bob Ross was an artist who painted nature pictures. And he had a TV show a long time ago. And he would teach people how to paint nature pictures on his TV show. Here's a picture of Bob Ross. Bob had this awesome head of hair. And while he was painting, he would say things like, let's build some happy little trees. Or, there's no mistakes, only happy little accidents. Bob Ross had this talent for being able to capture the beauty of creation. And he was very creative. Why was he so creative? Well, because his creativity came from the Creator, God. Our big idea for today is that God is creative, so I can be creative. Now, this doesn't mean that we will be able to paint like Bob Ross, but we will have the ability to be creative in various ways. You know, God is more creative than anyone else. And if Bob Ross is expert level in, as far as his creativity goes, God is so far off the charts that there isn't even a level to describe his creativity. There is no place we will see that more clearly than in the very beginning of the Bible. Today, our Bible story can be found in Genesis, in chapter 1. That's right where the Bible begins. And the Bible is the Word of God, and everything in the Bible is true. And God uses the Bible to speak to us and to teach us. So let's listen carefully this morning to what he has to say. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty and darkness covered the deep waters. The ocean covered the earth. God, but God was just getting started. He wasn't going to leave the earth in darkness. So he said, let there be light. And there was light. God knew the light was good and he separated from the dark. He called the light day and the darkness night. All of that took place on the first day of creation. On the second day, God separated the waters of the earth from the waters of the heavens, creating space between them, and God called this space the sky. On the third day, God caused the water and the dry land to separate, giving us seas and oceans, in some spots, and islands and continents in others. But that day, God did even more. He said, let the earth produce plants. Some plants will make grain for seeds. Others will make fruit with seeds in it. Every seed will produce more of its own kind of plant. Now the earth had plants and trees and shrubs and flowers. The world was really starting to look like the earth that we see today. After all of this, the third day ended and the fourth day began. On the fourth day, God created the sun and the moon and all the stars in the sky. He also set everything in motion so the lights in the sky would help us separate night and day, months and seasons, and even years. That was a very busy day of creating, but God wasn't done yet. On the morning of the fifth day, he said, let the waters be filled with living things and let the birds fly in the air above the earth. And when God saw the creatures in the sea and the birds in the sky, he knew that just like everything else he had created, they were good. And he blessed them, allowing the sea creatures to fill the sea and the birds to fill the air. Then came the sixth day, a day that is of particular interest to you and me. God started off by creating the animals. Big animals that run around, little animals that dig holes, deer and dragonflies, squirrels and skunks, foxes and frogs. He created this all on the sixth day. But there was one thing still missing from creation. Do you know what was missing? Yes, people. Then God said, let us make human beings in our image and likeness. Let them rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the air. Let them rule over all the animals, over all the earth. 
And God created man and woman to live here on earth and take care of it. God blessed them and said, have many children and grow in number. Fill the earth and be its master. Rule over the fish in the sea and over the birds in the sky. Rule over every living thing that moves on earth. And when God was finally finished, he looked at everything he had created and saw that it was very good. God created everything in the world in six days, and on the seventh day, he rested. Everything around us in the whole world, God made. Now, the part about the story that I really like the best is the fact that God created us in his image. Now, that means that we have characteristics of God in us. We can see from the world around us that God is very creative, and because we were created in his image, we are creative too. Every one of you is creative, whether you know it or not. Maybe you have the ability to draw or paint. That's being creative. Maybe you have the ability to think of cool stories. That's being creative. Maybe you have the ability to sing or play an instrument. That's being creative. Maybe you have the ability to build stuff. That's being creative. Now you might be thinking, hmm, I can't really paint or draw. I'm not great at singing or playing an instrument. I can't think of creative stories either, and I can't work with tools. I'm not sure I'm creative at all. But that isn't true. You are creative because God is creative. Every person is creative in some way. And the more obvious ways are singing and dancing, drawing and acting, and that sort of thing, but some people are good at problem solving. And some people are good at creating plans and organizing things. That's being creative. God designed us all in different ways, but we can all be creative. Each of you has your own unique creative abilities. We have, we have, we have creativity because God made us to be creative because he is creative. Let's look at today's memory verse. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. I love that in creating us, God showed his creativity, and then he calls us his masterpiece. He has good things planned for us to do for his kingdom with the creativity that he gave us. Let's pray. God, I thank you that you are creative. And thank you that because you are creative, we can be creative too. I pray that you would help us to use our creativity for you to further your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Are you ready to see my painting now? It's not 100% complete yet, but I'll show you anyways. What do you think? <laughs> well, I know Bob Ross, but that's okay because God has made me creative in other ways. And I had fun. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me here this morning at Camp Explore More. I hope you'll come back next week for more Bible stories and fun. And remember, God loves you, and I do too. <laughs>